project, name it whatever you want to name it. I'm gonna name mine uh, YMW Melly. That's what I'm working on right now. You're gonna go to custom. You're gonna have to change the resolution. You're gonna do 1080 by 1350. After you hit OK, you're gonna drag in your photo. It's best to do these with horizontal pictures, but in this case, we're gonna do a vertical one. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to mask out your image. I'm gonna speed it up just for time's sakes. Once you're done masking, you're gonna click on your image and you're gonna copy and paste it. After you're done with that, we're gonna click on the second image on the bottom. Then we're gonna to go to the draw mask and hit invert mask. And it should look like this. Now I'm gonna show you guys why we have to use Photoshop and we can't do it actually inside of Final Cut Pro, not fully at least. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna set keyframes on the rotation and scale. Then we're gonna go to the end of the clip and you're gonna wanna set your scale to about 110. And then you're gonna wanna set the rotation to two. Now we can bring Melly back in. If we play our clip back and run it through, you can see where we cut out our image and that's not the look we're trying to get. So we open up Photoshop and you're gonna to wanna to open up a new project and bring in your photo. going to want to click the quick selection tool then we're going to select around Millie you're going to want to take your time on this just to make sure you get everything after you're done selecting your whole entire image you're going to right click and then click layer visa cut. After that, we're gonna to wanna to click on the cloning tool. You go up the brush just to make the process a little bit faster. And you're gonna clone your object all the way out. Once we're done, it should look like this. We're gonna export our image. After that, we're gonna bring it right back in Final Cut Pro. Put it right under the bottom, stretch it out so it's the same length. set keyframes again basically the same thing we did the first time bring it to the very end set scale back up to 110 then set the rotation up to two now it should look like this and it almost looks right but we still have to play with a little more things to really give it the depth of that 3d illusion so we're gonna to go to the top picture, click on that, set keyframes to a rotation and scale, then go to the very end. And we're gonna to want to set the rotation to negative three and the scale all the way up to 130. And we now have our 3D illusion of death. Going to want to import the green screen clips. I left the links to download them in the description. I'm also going to leave the image of Melly so you could try this on your own. Now we're going to want to bring our fire particles under Melly, drop them right under so it's right behind them and leave the smoke on top. And we're going to want to turn them all into a compound clip. You're gonna have to adjust the size of it. You're gonna have to play with the scale.
gonna bring him down just a little bit, just so we can get his head inside there. Now that we got it how we want, just copy and paste the compound clip. Reverse. I'm going to paste it one more time, just the normal way. And then after that, we're going to render it out, and this is how it should look. Mommy, Mommy, Double's chopping it up again. Five little moves, fast, 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 fast. Hurry up and get in.